So initially, the, the NAFTA countries are out of the, uh, of the 232, subject to certain conditions, and subject to a successful NAFTA negotiation. So that's the first part of it. We have a similar circumstance with respect to Korea because we're in the process of negotiate, renegotiating chorus. Uh, I guess I have to be careful because we're not using TPA. I won't say renegotiating, but, but refurbishing Understood. perhaps chorus. But we're talking to, to the Koreans about chorus. There have been other countries that have come up and that, that I believe we are in the process of talking to now, uh, Australia, Argentina, uh, and the EU, I would put in those categories. There are a couple of other, there have been a number who have asked, uh, a, a great number as you can imagine. Um, uh, another one that we will, I think, soon begin talking to is uh, Brazil. But there are a number of countries that have come forward and they're in various levels of the process. The, the, the kinds of things we've talked about, well, maybe I'll let it go with that, Mr. Chairman, and just so that you don't have, for example, Canada and Mexico, but others, so you don't have a situation where you have the status quo, 25% tariff, and then they get out, and there's this kind of bump, and it changes real commercial relationships. So, but our hope is that, that by the end of April, we have this part of the process resolved. Having said that, the president has the authority at any time during the course of the program to let people out if he thinks it's in the national economic interest of the United States. And those discussions are ongoing? Yes, sir, they are yes, ongoing. 